In chapter 956, Blackbeard said, We are setting out. Instead of letting it land in the hands of the Marines, I would much rather take it for myself. What is this thing that even Blackbeard is interested in? It has to be something really important. Otherwise, what would the Yonko be interested in? And what makes it even more intriguing is that he is going after it himself. So the Marines will face a Yonko and his main crew. I hope they will have an admiral or two with them, otherwise it is not going to end well for them. But what is this thing that even a Yonko is interested in? My theory is that the thing that Blackbeard is talking about is Pluton. There are a couple of reasons why I think so. Let's start first with what happened in this chapter. Blackbeard was reacting to the news about the Alabasta Kingdom. He saw something in the news that made him think, this is the best time to go after Pluton. There is no way that the newspaper did reveal the existence of Pluton. So how does Blackbeard know about Pluton? If you look at past events, Blackbeard seems to be knowledgeable about things that no one is. Everything that he does, it is always part of his plan. He has access to some information that others don't. He is the only one to obtain two Delford powers. Even the Gorose were clueless about that. He is a D. Maybe he has learned the truth about the void century and the ancient kingdom. And he is using that knowledge for his own benefit. Whitebeard knew the true history, because Roger told him. He said to Blackbeard, you are not the one who Roger is waiting for. How does Whitebeard know what Blackbeard wants to achieve? I think Whitebeard has seen similarities on what Blackbeard is doing and events that it happened in the past during the void century. But Whitebeard still told him that you will not be successful. Now, let's go back to what did happen with Alabasta Kingdom. Oda did not reveal what exactly did happen. But one thing that I am sure is that it is about the ancient weapon Pluton. We know that the world government fears the ancient weapons and will do whatever it takes to keep them out of the hands of their enemies. We heard the Gorose call them the Nefertari family traitors. So they were not on good terms to begin with. And before the reverie, Korobra said that he plans to talk with the world government about certain things. And considering that Crocodile almost acquired the location of Pluton, I think based on everything that did happen, they did decide to take things into their hands and not take the risk of Pluton getting into the hands of their enemies. What if the Nefertari family doesn't want to be part of the world government anymore? Or they take the side of the revolutionaries? With the possession of Pluton, they would become a powerful kingdom that even the world government would have problems dealing with. We saw Imo holding the picture of Vivi before talking to the Gorese. And they did ask him which light should be extinguished this time. What if Imu said the Nefertari family should be extinguished? Because they pose a threat to the world government. It could be that the world government wants to change the ruling family in Alabasta. They want someone who will be loyal to them. And while this is going on between the world government and the Alabasta kingdom, Blackbeard thought this is the perfect opportunity to acquire Pluton. It could be that Blackbeard has a way to decipher the information on the Poneglyph and then he can find the location of Pluton. Or, maybe he will let the marines find Pluton, Imu probably knows where it is, and follow them and when they get there, that's when he will make his move and get Pluton. And that would make sense based on what he said. Instead of letting it land in the hands of the marines, I would much rather take it for myself. This is very much his style. That's how he was able to obtain Whitebeard's devil fruit. The marines did the job for him. Whitebeard was at his end when Blackbeard and his crew fought him. From all the important pirates in the story, Blackbeard is the only one who doesn't have a proper ship. I don't think that is because Oda has forgotten about him, but maybe he did that in order to shock us even more when we will see him at Pluton. Blackbeard was using a raft to travel, and now his ship could be the ancient weapon, Pluton. Pluton has the power to obliterate the country with one shot, and probably it is big enough for even San Juan Wolf to be on board. One of the reasons why I think that Blackbeard will get Pluton is that Luffy already has Poseidon. So Oda needs to balance things out, otherwise the battle between these two crews will be a short one. The prophecy of Madame Charlie is that Luffy will destroy the Fishman Island, but we only saw the island in flames and Luffy. It is normal for her to think that Luffy will be the one who will destroy the Fishman Island, but that's just an assumption. I do think that the Fishman Island will get destroyed and Luffy will be there but he's not going to be the one who will destroy it, but he will try to protect it. Blackbeard using the power of Pluton will destroy the Fishman Island. The reason for that could be that he is trying to destroy Mary Joas, and the entire area there is turned into a battle zone. I do expect the Fishman to escape using the ship. On one side you have Blackbeard, his crew and Pluton, and on the other, Luffy, his crew, and Poseidon with the Sea Kings. 
Thanks for watching.